y'all so this is veronica i'm back i'm just doing a little bit of gardening um i'm actually started i'm gonna take some of all of this straw up out of the bed and i'm gonna put soil and black mulch i bought some dianthus i don't know if that's how you say that let me get the little card well i have this one these are annuals and this is La labella that I got just a little small white and here it is a perennial di dianthus those are the pink ones I got four of those and then five of the white ones and hope you enjoy And now I'm just taking up the old straw that was in the flower bed and I'm just going to get rid of all of that. And once all that straw is out of the flower bed, I threw that out. Now I'm going to get this, it's not a rake, but I guess it's a plow type tool just to flatten that soil out that was underneath the straw. So then I can go in and um, start to plant my flowers and do the mulch as well. Now what I'm doing, I'm just removing I guess the top layer of the soil that was underneath the straw so I can go over it with the new potting soil that I bought and then the mulch on top. And now I'm going back over the flower bed with that raking tool just to make sure any um, debris, um, leaves, grass, anything's left over and just to flatten it so it'll be ready for me to put the new potting soil on top. Okay y'all, so now I'm going to plant the potting soil I just got regular like miracle Grow garden soil for in-ground use, feeds up to three months. I love this Kurt Franklin song. I was dancing to it, but I had to lower the volume because of copyright. Y'all, yeah, so here's what I'm doing. I'm setting all my flowers out with the pots. Um, well, not the pots, like in the little containers, trying to get the layout of what I want. 
Um, I still have these Labella, Lobella, Labelli, I don't know how to say this, Lobella. Um, just going to set this out, kind of get an idea of what I want to do, and then I'll come back and show y'all what the layout I got. Okay, y'all, so this is what I'm going to go with, I think. Um, I put the the pink ones, which are the perennials, and then the white ones are the annuals. And I just kind of staggered it along. Um, I think I'm going to get some, maybe some more pink ones to fill in in the back. Because those are going to grow. <clears throat> Let's see what the card says. 4 to 15 inches. Um, and then... These white ones won't grow as tall they'll only grow 10 to 12 inches so that'll be a nice little layered look um, to get the idea so I'll plant these in the ground put some water in and then um, that'll be that you want to do this is the flower um, I see a lot on YouTube I've already taken it out the pot you just want to break up the bottom of the roots um, a little so just kind of um, I'm just gonna lay it on its side just kind of break it up um, just so it says that's good so the roots don't form to this you want the roots to take into the soil so that's what I did and I'm gonna do those on all these flowers <music> And what I'm doing now, I saw a YouTube, a YouTube video where when you actually put the flower into the ground, you want to put water around it when you pack it in with the soil. Okay, y'all, so this is the finished product. Um, I put the pink flowers towards the back, the white in the front. Um, I put some soil out. I just need to mulch, but I need a few more bags of soil. So I'm going to go back to Walmart and get that. Um, but this is what it's looking like right now. And this is a finished look. This is a picture I took at night. I put some little night lights out. I got them for 97 cent at Walmart. Mulch, flowers. It turned out good. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.